Umix Control Pro was designed so that the DJ can focus on music. In this tutorial, we'll see how to mix and scratch. When you've installed an open cross DJ, then connected your Umix Control Pro, your controller will be recognized and ready to use immediately. To load a track from your collection, use the central browse scroller. To manage volume level, push the fader up, then check the gain control. The master knob controls the general volume at the output of the mixer. Equalizing is done like so, by simply turning the knobs. To kill the frequencies, press on the knob. The LED lights whenever the frequencies are killed. The Q-Tap allows you to program an entry point and a track. With this, you can skip the intro of a track, for example. You simply find the precise beat where you want your mix to start and press Q. The shredding sound you hear helps you adjust when you're finding that Q. To check that your Q is clean, just tap it. Vinyl mode allows you to find a Q point differently. Press the vinyl key. It turns on. Then use the jog wheel exactly like a vinyl. Hit Q to create a Q point, and then hit play to start playing the track. To move your Q point while the track is playing, press Shift plus Q. To start your track from that new Q point and keep the track playing, press Shift and play. Umix Control Pro offers three different ways to synchronize your tracks. First, the sync key will synchronize the BPMs of your tracks automatically. For example, press play on player B and sync on player A. You'll see on the upper part of your screen that the frequencies of your tracks will perfectly match. Second, for a semi-automatic matching function, hit shift plus sync. This synchronizes the BPMs only. From there, you mix the track in manually. Finally, to match the beats of your songs manually, use the pitch slider. To change the BPM of your track, slide the cursor up or down. You can also use the bend keys or the jog wheels to bend the BPM. The built-in sound card of the Umix Control Pro allows you to listen to tracks in your headphones. To do so, Plug in your headphones and hit the headphone key on the controller. The Q-Mix knob on the side of your controller allows you to hear more or less what is playing on your headphones compared to the master level. To adjust your transitions, you can set the curve of your crossfader to either a progressive fade or a direct cut for scratching. This is done on the back side of the controller by turning the CF curve knob. Pitch mode. By default, the controller is set on speed mode, which means that when you accelerate or slow down the BPM of a song, the tone of that song will change accordingly. If you click the mode button, located above the pitch slider, you'll switch to master tempo, which maintains the tone of that track regardless of the BPM. You can also change the pitch amplitude from plus or minus 4% to plus or minus 100% by pressing shift with the mode. Scratching with the UX Control Pro is easy thanks to the touch sensitive jog wheels. Scratches will be precise and latency free. You can also adjust the level of sensitivity of these jog wheels on the back of the controller. To activate the scratching function, click on the vinyl button next to the jog wheels. Here's a little scratching demo for you guys. When this function is not active, spinning the wheels will only influence the speed of the track. As you can see, the bend buttons will light accordingly. When active, the top part of the jog wheel becomes touch sensitive, which means you can scratch it just like a vinyl. When the vinyl mode is on, touching the side of the jog wheel will only bend the BPM. As you can see, the bend buttons are turning on accordingly.
thank you all for watching this tutorial. For more information, go to www.mixvibes.com.